Welcome back with us, folks. Tonight's recap is Facebook that we played on Friday. We played Same Day Expiration. Same Day Expiration is extremely risky. However, we found a deal in those premiums, and sometimes it's really worth looking for that. So we'll show you how we managed to, to find a deal. So it was securing something that was somewhat a safer play and something that we found that was um, while we were minimizing risk, playing something that was already in the money. So in order to do so, you have to understand what it is, what really is playing a call option on a ticker. Let me show you this. Now, um, when you play a call, in this particular case, we were playing the 3775 calls. So what it does, it gives you the right to buy Facebook at a set price of 3775 at expiration, right? So if you are a month ahead, obviously this comes with time, right? Time before expiration. So there's a possibility that it goes up and a possibility that it will go down or possibly that it will stay flat right so you're paying for this range hood that this range that you're believing that it's going either going to go up or down so you're paying for a possibility that will be going in one direction or the other the closer you get you, you are to expiration that range will narrow and that range will become very very slim let's say five minutes until expiration chances are that the stock is not going to move much, right? As opposed to a month ahead or a year ahead, the chances are higher that the stock will move in a wider direction. Now, when you are very close to expiration, and in this particular case, we played Facebook uh, a little over four hours before expiration. Now, what we did, we played the 3775. Why? I'll show you this. Now, we entered, I'll show you why we entered and in, 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 um, what we thought was, was going on, but we entered here, which is very close to a hair under 380. It was 379 something. Now, we paid 249. 249. For so, so, at expiration, how much would you pay for your stock if you're having the right to buy three seven seven fives, right? Three, you, you can buy Facebook for the price of three seven seven five at expiration, and for two forty nine more. At expiration, I'll give you the right to buy it in this particular case for break even. This is how they calculate the break even price. You add both of them. So basically, what it's giving you is basically $379.99, right? You add these two together for anything higher. Then 377999, if it closes above that, you have a deal. You're much better off to buy at that price than to buy, let's say, at the high of the day at 380, 379, if it were to close at expiration at 283. So it gives you the right to buy the stock. The amount of shares that you have in one contract is 100. So if you have one contract, as you, you can buy. 100 shares of Facebook at a given price of 377.5 plus your premium that you paid for buying that right. So basically what it gives you is the right to buy at the set price. Now, we found when Facebook was trading four hours before expiration at the price of 249, 
So basically it's giving you the idea, like we just said, 377.99 for break even. Usually this premium has more price, more premium into it if they see a movement that will go up or down. Same, if you were to take, um, let me get rid of the, some of these things here. Um, if you had looked at the 380 calls or even the 382.5 calls, they had a price attached to them. Why? Because there was a possibility that it would go up that way or down that way. But that possibility, you pay a price for that. Now, what we found was something that, that had no price attached to it. Basically, some call it juice. There was no juice in the 3775s because all we were paying is the price as if it was closing right where it was when we bought it. I think it was somewhere around the 379, 379.3-ish uh, or something when we bought. So basically, there was not much, only about 70 cents that we were paying for that premium for buying that four hours. Now, given the fact that we were on support, and I'll show you that in a second, on support, on very low premium. See, I, I was at 380, I could have gone 380, but I was paying for something that uh, I thought we would test 380, but I didn't know if we were going to close above 380 or not. So basically, looking at the 3775s, they were already in the money. If we had kept going down, I mean, the value of the whole thing would have been zero if we had closed under 3775 because no one will pay more than 3775s for a stock that is under that. You understand that, right? So this is why it's worth zero. Now, it closed at 378.69, so basically no one will pay more than $1.19. I hope you all see this. So it's three seven seven five plus a dollar nineteen. We'll give you this. No one will pay more than a dollar nineteen. So basically, the premiums at expiration were only worth a dollar nineteen. But still, you still have value in those in those calls as opposed to if you had gone three eighty or three eighty two fives, where you would have lost everything. Now back to this. It's safe. We call it safe. Sorry, safer because it's still Friday. Safer. Why? One, it's in the money. So we were almost 250 in the money. So that it needs to go down quite a bit in order to be to be read on the play. Two. The value of the premiums were cheap. How did how to determine that? You look at the price of the underlying, you add the premium. Let's say you 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 sorry, you look at the price of your calls, you add the premium. So in this particular case, the calls were three seven seven five. You add the premium. Premium was two forty nine. This is three seventy nine point ninety nine. Stock was at three seventy nine thirty ish. Basically, you're seventy cents away for the time that you're buying. I I believe that it was pretty cheap because as soon as we get to three eighty. We're worth more 
than 249 at expiration. So basically, as soon as we climb above 380, premiums will go higher and higher at about a rate of one to one money, penny for penny. So I was not looking for something that will go a thousand percent. But I was something for some, looking for something that would test at least 381, 382 levels. So basically, we were at least making $100, $200 per contract. This means we were um, on a safe side and looking up for something that was decent. So let me get rid of this here. Two points to remember. It was in the money, look for premium and add your calls plus the premium. And this will give you an idea if it, you're paying too much or it was a deal to enter with. Now, this is about the safe play. Why did we go in there? We all played the previous day and ended up being, look, I'll uh, recap this. Mm -hmm. It was a red day on the market, yet it was trying, not quite, another chop, same thing, it dumped with the rest of the market and then tried again. It really looked like it was going to pop, but it didn't, right? At the end of the day, it dumped. But however, when the market is going that way, and this is staying flat, it tells you that if the market is going flat or market starts climbing, this is going to go, you know, strong this shows that the mark this was strength because it was not moving down with the rest of the market now what we did we had a line and i'll show you this we had a line about here which is a top that didn't cross didn't cross and then at the end of the day it touched it and then rejected it and went down now at the open what it did it just started screaming upwards right away, went for a new high, and then it started losing steam with the rest of the market because at the time, market was tanking with the rest of, well, Apple was not helping, but it was dropping hard. And I have told you this before, the 200 EMA, 200 EMA is this <laughs> green line on tech. 200 EMA is really something that you should look at. Add this with, you know, multiple tops that we had on the previous day. This was the support, a lost support, hit the 200 EMA and then it gained right on top of it. Now, a rejection would have been, we lose it, we hit the, the, um, the old support and then we go down. Didn't do that came down and then right away we started ste steaming up and this is when we entered. And this was also in at pretty much the same place where the market was catching a grip. So basically my targets were this level, that level, and I believe we sold because there was so much strength in it. It, was, it just kept on going and going. I never thought we would test the high of the day, but you know, we sold in 383. Basically, we bought the calls at 249. And if I recall correctly, we sold the calls at 528. Um, which isn't bad. It's a little over 100 percent on something that as I explained just before was fairly safe. Um, this is Friday expiration. Safe is a very long extended word to mention something that is rewarding. However, always use caution with that. But I just showed you that playing something that was already in the money can be profitable, safer. And I hope that when you are playing something, you will now look at how much you're paying for that time that you're buying. So add the premium to the price of your calls or puts and this will determine how much well and, and this will determine how much time you're paying for the uh, how much money you're paying for the time that you're playing guys I hope you learned something and that you will be able to um, to play something 
uh, with a little more um, risk management in it. And I hope you, uh, I hope to see you again in a very short time. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to subscribe to our play to our um, channel. Thanks. Have a good one, folks.